Launching the State of East Africa Report 2013 today in Dar es Salaam, President of the Society for International Development, Ambassador Juma Mapachu, underscored a need for a dialogue to address the widening gap between social classes in society. It's all about inequality. When you allow inequality to intensify for too long, people will rise up. And given the fact about the level of education, it becomes very, very difficult for ordinary people like that, young people who are stunted, who have not had the opportunity to rationalize a pipeline. And they can't rationalize a pipeline where there is lack of effective communication. The report that will be launched here today will have, you'll find will have quite interesting insights. Some of the information that you probably have come across in your, in, in, in your work, but also we hope also that some that will, may surprise you, may uh, hopefully not depress you very much, but certainly it builds and it contributes towards the generation of knowledge about this whole integration process. Executive Chairman of IPP Group of Companies, Dr. Reginald Mengi, called for affirmative action for indigenous businesses in order to reduce the gap between foreign and local investors so as to bring development to local communities. I don't believe we can have a um, sustainable economy until and unless it's uh, either owned or controlled by the local people. Um, uh, I was a bit shocked when during the time of um, privatization when the World Bank uh, came up with the philosophy that uh, the highest bidder wins. Uh, whether you are Tanzanians or Tanzanians. And we ended, we ended up in a total mess uh, because this was the only country in the world where uh, privatization was sort of open for all uh, without any discrimination, positive discrimination for its people. The meeting brought together various stakeholders, including government executives, economists, business leaders, and members from civil society organizations to deliberate on ways forward in achieving a sustainable East African integration. I happened to look at a website from the World Economic Forum and they did a survey of what are the top three issues in the various continents, Africa, Middle East and North Africa, Europe, Asia, North America and South America. And in all but one of these continents, the rising gap between the rich and the poor was in the top three. The only one where it didn't seem to be an issue and I need to dig deeper, was Europe. It's clear that uh, we are not investing enough in education, and yet we must. Again, we cannot make progress unless we invest in education. The way we are doing it in East Africa is just not, not, not right. We have to invest in education.